China's foreign ministry has hit out at Western skepticism over tennis star Peng Shuai's safety, labeling it as malicious hyping. China's foreign ministry has hit out at the West and accused unnamed people of malicious hyping over the well-being of tennis star Peng Shuai. Peng, a former doubles world number one alleged in a message on Weibo on November 2 that China's former Vice Premier Zhang Gali had sexually assaulted her. She was then not seen in public after the allegation, leading to her well-being becoming an international concern. Chinese state media has since released an email, photos of Peng and organized a video call with International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach to prove she is safe. These attempts at proving Peng's well-being have been met with skepticism, particularly by the Women's Tennis Association, who threatened to pull their events from China. Countries are reportedly considering a boycott of the Beijing Winter Olympics in February but the foreign ministry played down the incident and insisted it is not an international concern. This is not a diplomatic matter the Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson, Zhao Lijian, told a regular press briefing on Tuesday. I believe everyone will have seen she has recently attended some public activities and also held a video call with the IOC president, Bach. I hope certain people will cease malicious hyping, let alone politicization. Mentions of Peng's name have been heavily censored since the 35-year-old made her allegation public. However, an online campaign using the hashtag #WhereIsPengShuai is ongoing, with the likes of Naomi Osaka, Serena Williams, and Andy Murray expressing their concern. The movement gained further momentum when state media published an email purportedly written by Peng insisting she was fine. Peng was seen in Beijing at the weekend and held the video call with Bach on Sunday, with the IOC reporting she was safe and well. However, the organization has since been accused of staging a publicity stunt for Beijing as their attempts to declare her safety have been criticized. Nikki Dreden a human rights lawyer and former Olympic swimmer for Canada, said, that's not a safeguarding call by any means.